Good morning, good morning. So today we're gonna go get some Brefix at the place that I really, really like their Brefix. We went there for Eid, but they weren't serving like actual food. They were just serving like bakery items, Miss Simmon, coffee. So I'm hoping that today, since it's Saturday, that maybe they might be back to serving regular food. Cause I wanna get that, what do you guys call it? Fossey? The meat and the eggs in the tagine thing is so, so good. So I'm gonna go get that. But the purpose of this video is to tell you some things that shocked me or more like I was not expecting and that are here but not in America. So things I dealt with here that are not dealt with in America. Stay tuned. Here is the cafe. I'm really, really, really a fan of their Brefix. All right, guys, I just ordered my food and um, I forgot the word for good, but thankfully there was people that spoke English and they were able to help me. Okay, so the things that shocked me but i don't really mean shocked because nothing here has really shocked me but there are things that are different here than obviously than in america the first thing we're going to talk about is banking yes we have banks in morocco you can go in you can do your banking but i'm not a resident yet so because i'm not a resident yet i can't bank online so i have to go inside and do all of my banking which thankfully I don't have to do a lot of banking, but I do have to go monthly and pay my rent, transfer money for my rent, and I have to transfer money for my electric bill. They are not open on the weekends. That's another thing. Banks in Morocco are not open on the weekends. In America, I guess maybe for like the last 15 years or so, they've always opened on the weekends. They're also not open at night. Like they close at like 3.30, four o'clock. So, one thing to know about banks in Morocco, not open on the weekends, and they're not open after like three, four o'clock in the afternoon. All right, guys, my brefix. We got Fassi, well done. Bread, the Moroccan, I call it like the Moroccan oatmeal. I really don't remember what it's called, but I think of it as the Moroccan oatmeal. Orange juice, fresh squeezed, olives, oil, a sill, which is honey, which I put in this. I know people say it's wrong. It's not wrong. Nas nas and lama, water. All this for 36 dirhams, $3.60 US dollars for a full brefix. You cannot beat this. All right, guys, another thing that that is like way different than in America and again, anything I say here, it's not a negative thing, guys. I'm just pointing out things that are different. Um, majority of it is not a negative thing. Um, Y'all know I love, I love Morocco, so we don't have to question that. Um, but another thing that's different, children come home for lunch from school. Now, I'm not positive if this is all schools, but I live in Wefak, and I've been in other areas when this happens. And you'll see like this influx of children walking like after 12. And um, I've been told that kids get off for lunch and they go home for lunch and then they come back. School here, it seems like it lasts till like four o'clock, maybe later, I'm not positive, but I would say at least until four o'clock. And um, in America, like at our school, my kids got out at two o'clock. So obviously it's a much longer day here. Um, so kids come home for lunch. Um, now, I don't know how that works for if there's a two parents that work, if they go to a relative's or how that is. Um, I do know that I feel like more moms stay at home here than they do in America. I feel like there are more one-income families here or families that the father just works here. So the moms or the grandmoms or the aunts, somebody's always home. 
Um, but that's another interesting thing. So after 12, you'll see a bunch of kids walking home from school and then they go back for the rest of their day. Okay guys, another thing that is, uh, happens here that does not happen in America is lunchtime for Morocco is around like three o'clock. Our lunchtime in America is 12. Their lunchtime is like three o'clock. Around three o'clock, pharmacies or all the pharmacies I know anyway they close for lunch so they actually close down for like an hour and then they open back up doctors as well all the doctors that I've dealt with as well as uh, dentists veterinarian they close earlier like they open up in the morning and then they close my veterinarian she closes at one and then opens back up at five so a lot of them close for like lunch for a few hours and they open back up at nighttime and then they service you then. Um, so that is another thing that's different here than in America. All right, guys, I just finished my Brefix. Can I just tell you, like, that is such a filling Brefix. Like, 36 durhams. 36 durhams. You got a whole, a whole Brefix. Like, you know what I mean? You got oatmeal, you got eggs, you got meat, you got bread, you got coffee, you got water, you got juice. Come on now, people. It's not rocket science. The food here in Morocco is amazing. The prices for me um, are very, very good. Like I said, I do realize, you guys, I am an American sharing my experience. You have to keep that in mind. I realize that a lot of Moroccans cannot just get food out as much as I do. But like I said, I come from America where everything is so much more expensive. That prefix right there in America would have probably cost you, I'm going to say like $12. I'm not joking. America, you guys, everyone, every day I hear somebody tell me, oh my God, why would you leave America? That's why. So that I could get a prefix out and not have to mortgage the payment of the prefix. Like seriously, guys. That is why I left America. I left America to eat. Guys, I love, look at these flowers. They're everywhere in Morocco. I love them, I love them. Some nice villas and a beautiful mosque. All right, so even though I just ate Brefix and I had a nice nus nus, I want more coffee. And if you guys know me, you know that I love iced coffee. So we're gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts and get a nice coffee. I would love, love to find a Moroccan coffee place to support the local Moroccans that do an iced coffee. But unfortunately, I can never, I can't find it. I found one before, but then when I went back, he said he didn't have any ice. So I don't think it's something that he usually does. But if anybody knows a place near me that always will serve like sweet iced coffees, Drop it in the comments because I would love, love to support a local Moroccan rather than a big corporation. But let's go to Dunkin' and get me my iced coffee so I can power through this day because me and the kids, we got to go do something. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to go do something. If you guys noticed, I'm wearing my glasses today. And the reason for me wearing my glasses is because I ran out of one eye contact. So I'm actually in the process of hopefully picking up some contacts today. That will be an adventure. I've never gotten contacts here. Um, contacts are actually not that popular. Glasses are huge here. Like a lot of people wear glasses, like a lot, a lot. And I've talked to friends and it turns out like contacts aren't as big here. Um, so there is optical places on every corner. I swear besides Hanout's, Optical places are the other big thing. Like everywhere you go, there's an optical place. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna hopefully pick up some contacts today. But the downfall of me wearing glasses is the sun is so bright and I cannot wear sunglasses over it, you know, obviously. And I cannot wait to have my contacts, guys. I have no idea what the price is of contacts here. I have a feeling that since uh, they're not like that big here. They're probably maybe a little more expensive But in general contacts are not cheap like in America my one box for my one eye Was over a hundred dollars for six contacts. So I'm expecting it not to be cheap But let's just hope that it's reasonable because this is something that I'm gonna be using forever Unless they have LASIK eye surgery here, but then again has anyone ever seen the surgery for LASIK eye surgery? they literally 
open your eye up. You're awake, by the way. They open your eye up and like they cut the layer of your eyeball off. And if you guys know me about needles, they would have to literally like restrain me down to have this done. So I don't know if it's going to be an option, but if it is, that's, that's what they do. Um, but for now contacts. So we'll see if later on I get them fingers crossed because I really need them because the sun is killing my eyes. There is the fire department. Guys, if anybody has a, a hookup with me coming to the fire department to do like a little video to show how it's, uh, how they are in Morocco, I would love it. Please, please let me know. All right, so we are right at Dunkin' Donuts. I'm gonna get an iced coffee and I'm gonna get a donut for the kids. Um, another thing about Morocco, Hanouts. I talk about Hanouts a lot. Hanouts are the corner stores that they basically sell like everything, you know, you know, snacks, milk, eggs, cleaning, all that stuff, right? It's like a little mini uh, convenience store. But they are literally on every corner. Hanouts are literally every corner. I'm not exaggerating. And the thing I find interesting about um, Hanouts is there's so many of them and they all survive. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm sure that there are some that close down, but it's like, there's so many and yet they all, they all survive. Same thing with cafes. Cafes are on every corner in Morocco. Like there's so many cafes and yet you go by and they always all have customers. So I'm really curious to know how that happens. Like, how does it work where there's so many of something and they still all survive. I don't know. Let me know in the comments how it works. Guys, it's such a beautiful day out. Like it really, really is. All right, so for those that are not familiar with Morocco, uh, look, we got dominoes. Yes, people, we do have dominoes in Morocco and it is actually quite, quite good. Actually, I like it better here than in America. But uh, right behind all those villas, if you go down a few blocks, the ocean is right there. Guys, this is only like five minutes from my house. I am like a seven minute drive from the ocean. How crazy is that? Like, I know I lived in New Jersey and the ocean is close to New Jersey, but the ocean was at least an hour and a half away from me. And now I live like seven minutes away from it. So exciting. My kids love it too. They already have all these plans to go to the beach all summer long. You guys know a video would not be complete without me feeding a cat. Huh? I have to feed the cats. All right, guys, the last thing I'm gonna talk about that is like different than in America is the internet phone service, like with cell phones and stuff. So in America, I had a unlimited plan. I pay, paid like $40 a month and I got unlimited 5G, you know, all I wanted, as well as regular calling. Not international, but regular calling as much as I wanted. And I paid $40 a month. In Morocco, they do have phone plans. Don't get me wrong, they do have phone plans. I have one. I pay 160 dirhams a month, which is approximately 16 US dollars. But it gets me like two or three hours of phone time, which can be international, as well as, um, it gets me like internet. Now here's where it gets tricky. In America, I never ran out. Like I never ran out, right? Like I could use my phone all the time and like nothing happens, right? In Morocco, I run out. I don't know how it works exactly, but I do know that usually by the end of the month, before the month is over, 
I've run out of internet. And then I have to do what most Moroccans do. Uh, all the Moroccans I know, and after talking to a bunch, a lot of people do not have phone plans here. Even though they offer them, a lot of people just go to the Hanout and recharge their internet. And it's like 20 dirhams, 30 dirhams, 40, uh, 50 dirhams. Most people get the 20 dirham one. And it's just like you get this little thing, you give them the money, and then you call it up and it loads onto your, onto your phone. I can't live like that. I don't like the unknown. Now, I have a phone plan and I'm still living the unknown because as of right now, I ran out of internet and it's only like the 13th of the month. So today I'm going to be going and actually making my phone plan bigger. I wanna do unlimited, but it is actually a lot of money for unlimited. So I think I'm gonna upgrade it to 350 dirhams a month, which is not unlimited, but it's a whole lot more than I have right now because this is very frustrating when I'm out and about and then I run out of internet. And the reason I run out of internet is because I have a bad habit of forgetting to turn off like the outside internet when I come home. Like instead of just connecting to my home internet, I forget. And then also um, I had a problem with my home internet this, this uh, month, a couple weeks ago. So I actually had to use the internet that was from Moroc Telecom. So I end up using a lot of it that way. Um, but yeah, so that's another difference is like, even though there are phone plans offered here and people do use them, it's very common to not have a phone plan and just recharge your internet by going to the Hanu. Now, if you're a resident here, you could also do this through your banking app. I'm not a resident yet, so I can't do this, but you can do it through your banking app. You can add money through that, which I thought was pretty convenient if you're able to do it. Um, but yeah, guys, so listen, anything that I'm telling you that's different from Morocco or America, it's not a negative thing. I love living here. I really, really do. There's only a couple things that like kind of bother me. And I can think you guys know, like the number one thing is the driving, the driving I really wish would be a little bit more civil, more patience, more courtesy, more friendliness, you know? Uh, but other than that, everything else is just not that big of a deal. It's just stuff that is different, but the pros outweigh the cons here, guys. It really, really do, does. I feel safer here. It's more affordable for me here. And we're getting to do so many cool things. Guys, that's the thing. Every day we wake up and we're like, what are we going to do today? Like, it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing living here. I love it. The kids love it. And we're just so happy to call Morocco our home. All right, guys, I'm going to go home and get ready uh, to go do something for a little later. Bye.